Greetings, fellow travelers. Today, I would like to share some thoughts on making peace with your journey. It's not about where you started, where you are, or even where you're headed. It's about the whole adventure. There's no end destination, if you will. So making or finding peace with that, accepting that as it is, can sometimes give us the freedom that we've consciously or unconsciously been looking for. By that, I mean, there have been times where I've decided consciously, this is where I'm headed. Only to find myself pulled in different directions. This showed that where I thought was the end of my journey was really guiding me to a different spot of realization of where I was headed. And it constantly changes. And that's okay. That has in my life been uh, treated as if it were a hindrance of who I am. As I get older, I realize that's one of the things that really helped me see the lay of the land. I have no idea where my journey ends this time. I don't care. I'm enjoying the ride. That's all that matters. I forge my own path. That's all that matters. I don't, uh, I don't wish ill will for anybody on their journey. Because what I've learned on mine is the further I go, not in a hierarchy of success, if you will, but the further that I'm walking my path, the broader my view gets. The more I understand times when I had a pigeonhole way of thinking. Okay. Six months later from now, I have another of the same type of realizations. Now I just enjoy them because that's what the process is. It's constant self-assessment. It's constant assessment of how is this direction on my journey helping me? How is it hindering me? This is stemming from a situation uh, in my life, a certain relationship in my life. That uh, it's not even a close relationship. But I've had time to assess it and realize that, wow, when I started this journey and this uh, skill set building aspect, I thought that, hey, I'll be doing the skill for the rest of my life. So let me follow this particular mentor in this avenue of life or this avenue of uh, skill set building for as long as I can. Nah, I know myself better than that. I've learned what I need to learn and it's time to move on. That's not saying that he's not a good teacher, no. Good teacher for the skill set. However, my keeping, keeping myself around that person or giving that person access to me in my life it no longer serves me. And see, that's interesting because I found myself at times before making my decision, I found myself at times saying, no, don't be a quitter. Don't let this person win. Stay in, show them that you're proven. Foolishness. I have nothing to prove to anybody but myself. I've achieved what I came to achieve. And that level of 
gratitude for the experience and satisfaction within myself for the changes I have made over the past, let's say, six years. I'm grateful for it. But I owe the change to myself. The ability to be open-minded, acquire a new skill set, learn more about myself, good, bad, and ugly during that process. But I also learned that my devotion is to me. I've spoken before about the difference between loyalty and devotion, and for that time, I was loyal. Now, I'm no longer loyal to that way of going about life. I'll take the skill set and do what I will with it. I'm not seeking anyone's approval, except for my own. I share these thoughts because I want you to know that you have nothing to prove. If you set out to do something, do it for you. And if people understand it or not, it's not your business, not your concern. Even if they try their hardest to make it your business. Okay, that's how they feel. But no matter what you give your time and attention to, shoot for the goal of being fulfilled with what you've done, what you've produced. And as much as you can, don't let it compare it to anybody else. That comparison is still your joy. Think of who you were at the beginning. Think of who you were at the end or the middle, wherever you are now. Be happy with that. Because I promise you, later on down the line in your journey, you'll realize that it's other aspects of that decision to do this thing, to learn that thing. And then the decision to not do that thing or not move this way. You'll learn that there are other invaluable lessons that came along that journey that takes a little bit more uh, time to realize. I think I'll leave it at there. Champion yourself. Be proud of you. With these things said, thank you for allowing me to share my thoughts. I would love to hear your thoughts as well. Until the next time, fellow travelers, be blessed.